A very warm welcome to everyone who is watching this video. I am Garima Puri, a first semester B Pharmacy student, and today I would like to present to you a presentation on pathology. In this video, the contents we are going to be covering are definition and factors influencing pathology. Now, pathology comes from two words. Posos and logos. Posos means how much and logos means science. So together, posology is the branch of medical science which deals with dose or quantity of drugs that can be administered to a patient for the desired pharmacological effect. Now, have you ever visited a doctor? Before prescribing medicines, doctor usually asks you about your age and also writes your gender on the prescription form. Ever wondered why? Possibly, the treatment differs for different age groups. A medicine which is good for a man nearing his 30s might not be good for women or a preg pregnant woman, an old man or young children. So let's dive deep and know what factors actually influence pathology. Number one is age. With age, the pharmacokinetics of many drugs change. Pharmacokinetics is the rate at which a drug's a drug performs or shows its action. Children and older people need lesser amount of drug than normal dose. Why? Reason is elderly patients mostly suffer from renal and hepatic dysfunction due to which the drug will stay in the body for longer time than usual. Whereas in case of newborn infants, they have high total body water, low fat and immature renal and hepatic function. Now, different drugs may produce different problems in different age groups. For example, tranquilizers and hypnotics may lead to confusion states in elderly patients. Tetracycline produces teeth staining in children. Chloramphenicol, another drug, produces grey baby syndrome. Let's talk about the second point, which is gender. While administering the drugs, special care should be taken in case of menstrual cycle, pregnancy and lactation. Certain drugs should be avoided, for example, strong purgatives such as aloes in menstruation, ergot alkaloids, anti-malarial drugs and drastic purgatives in pregnancy, and antihistamine, tetracycline and morphine in lactation. During menstruation, some drugs can irritate the uterine lining of our body. So, those drugs should definitely be avoided. During pregnancy, it might happen that some drugs cross the placenta and reach fetus who is not fully developed and would not be able to metabolize those drugs, which will in turn be toxic for the fetus. During lactation also, we need to be very careful. Other than that, it is a fact that some drugs which are good enough for males are not so good enough for females. Why is that? It is because percentage adipose tissue is greater and percentage water is lower. So the drugs should be at least altered for women. Let's get to the next slide, which is about body weight. On average, 
Doses are mentioned in terms of single dose for an adult weighing between 50 kg to 100 kg. However, we know this earth consists of people of different shapes and sizes. So in case of obese patient and malnourished patients, the drugs need to be altered. Similarly, in case of children, along with the factor that is age, their body weight also matters. So these drugs need to be altered in different conditions according to different age groups and body weight. Let's talk about route of administration. IV doses of drug are usually smaller than oral doses. Some drugs are administered orally and some are done intravenously. Those are co called as in IV doses. This route might enhance the chance of drug toxicity. Why? Because the rate of drug absorption increases as oral, subcutaneous, intramuscular, rectal and intravenous. So the highest absorption of drug would be in case of intravenous. IV drugs are fully absorbed unlike oral drug. So their quantity should be less. So for same drug, the quantity would be altered if the route is changed. Coming to the next point, which is time of administration. The presence of food in the stomach delays the absorption of drug and the drug is rapidly absorbed from the empty stomach. You must have heard the elders in your family say don't take medicines on an empty stomach and now you know the reason why but it does not always mean that it is much effective when taken during or after meal it is also dependent on the drug type for example iron arsenic and cod liver oil should be given after meal and acid drugs that prevent acidity in your stomach should be taken before meal. Environmental factors. The personality and behavior of a patient may influence the effect of drug, especially the drugs which are intended for use in a psychosomatic disorder. And it is a known fact in the common language that is the females are more emotional than male and require less dose of certain drugs. Inert dosage forms called placebos which resemble the actual medicament in the physical properties are known to produce therapeutic benefit in diseases like angina pectoris and bronchial asthma. Coming to tolerance. <coughs> tolerance, as the word say, how much of the drug can you tolerate? That also depends on different body types and different habits which you have developed in your lifetime. When an unusually large dose of drug is required to elicit an effect ordinarily produced by normal therapeutic dose of drug, the phenomenon is called as drug tolerance. For example, smokers can tolerate nicotine. So if you have to administer nicotine to a smoker, you can be a little bit less careful. Alcoholic can tolerate large quantity of alcohol. We can also co uh, classify tolerance into two types. True tolerance which is produced by oral and parenteral administration of drug 
and pseudo tolerance produced only due to oral administration tolerance receptors of drugs are reduced receptors are alive but absorption of drugs is decreased in case of pseudo tolerance moving to the next point synergism and antagonism when desired therapeutic result needed is difficult to achieve with single drug at that time two or more drugs are used in the combination form for increasing their action so let's say a drug a is not able to produce the desired effect we combine it with a we combine it with b and the result would be even more than the individual drugs would have caused that process is called synergism for example procaine and in adrenaline combination increase the duration of action of procaine antagonism when the action of one drug is opposed by the other drug on same physiological system is known as drug antagonism even though it sounds very negative it is actually useful how the use of antagonistic response to drugs is valuable in tr- treatment of poisoning if you are poisoned by some substance we add something else and you can be relieved of that toxic substance for example milk of magnesia is given in acid poisoning where alkaline effect of milk of magnesia neutralize the effect of acid poisoning when adrenaline and acetylcholine are given together they neutralize the effect of each other due to antagonism because adrenaline is a vasoconstrictor and acetylcholine is a vasodilator next point is presence of disease drugs like barbiturates and chlorpromazine may produce unusually prolonged effect in patient having liver cirrhosis liver cirrhosis is also very common in alcoholic patients such as streptomycin produce toxic effect on these patient their kidney function is not working properly because streptomycin ex- is excreted out through the kidney the next point is accumulation some drugs produce the toxic effect if it is repeatedly administered for a long time they accumulate in the body and the body is unable to excrete them out so the excretion is slow for example drugs like digitalis emetine and heavy metals usually are get accumulated in the body next point is idiosyncrasy it is now known as drug allergy when a drug produces extraordinary responses other than extraordinary pharmacological action effects it is known as drug allergy for example aspirin may cause gastric hemorrhage quinine may produce ringing effects tachyphylaxis also known as acute tolerance when certain drugs are administered repeatedly the cells receptors might get blocked this condition might not be reversed by increasing the dosage for example ephedrine amphetamine cocaine and nitrates these show acute tolerance when administered repeatedly the last point of this video is metabolic disturbances changes in water electrolyte balance and acid base balance body temperature and other physiological factor may modify the effect of drug for example salicylates reduce body temperature in only in case an individual has rise in body temperature they have no antipyretic effect if the body temperature is normal with that we finished with our presentation thank you for your patience
again my name is garima puri i am a first semester b pharmacy student thank you